What's up guys, my name's Joy, welcome back to Minecraft, this is number 5, and today let's get a little bit spontaneous in honor of our 5th episode thus far in the past 24 hours. Let's get 5 uh, subscribers and 5 likes on this video, and I'm, I'm always going to keep my priorities low, I want a minimum of 2, 2 is always good. So I'm here on my new, on a new world here. We're not going to be playing on the pure survival server in this episode. Instead, we are going to start in a single player world. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we get. I'm going to start off in creative mode just to see my surroundings a little bit more. I, I'm more of a creative mode person anyway than a uh, server. Or survival, I mean, not server. So anyway, so in the in the previous episode, when you, if you've seen it and then went down and read the comments, uh, you would have saw one of my my comment about if I had checked Discord. Yeah, because apparently, uh, somebody had griefed me. And uh, for all of the people who don't know, griefing is basically going around doing mischievous acts upon other people. For example. Flooding somebody else's home. That's griefing. And it's not much appreciated. Yeah, it was... Uh, somebody had posted a picture uh, saying that they, they had... There's somebody griefing on uh, the server. And I'm still not sure who it was. I don't think... Uh, I think these people are in a different time zone. But, oh well. We could... We, we, we talk later. Because I have now got... Discord on my phone, so now I could chat with my new YouTuber server friends as need be. And I'm excited, because one of them had talked to me, and is, we're hoping, hoping, to eventually do a collab together, um, to uh, do a Minecraft video together, and I'm excited for that. It'll be my first collab with anybody. A lot of new stuff for this for the channel right now. Keep forgetting to move myself over to where I'm necessary. But yeah, this is exciting. Destroying trees and talking. I think a beach house would look nice here. There. But... So I'm planning on doing a little bit more with maybe this series, uh, well, with this thing, this, this world. This will be a world for, like, people can ask me what to build and I'll try my hardest to build it. Stuff like that. I just feel like sometimes just having a personal world just makes it easier. And it probably won't feel so lonely since now I'm talking to you guys. You know, those who decide to stick around. Okay, poison that block. Get a nice clear area full of emptiness. Because I'm starting to like my crowd. So far, my crowd involves my mom. Hi, mom. And, uh, my YouTube friends. Because it's, it's really important to establish a good audience. And don't just generalize your audience. That's something I, I've learned just from watching my favorite YouTubers. Hashtag Uh, So, things get really exciting after you start developing more than 30 subscribers. Oh yeah, we got a new subscriber. I, I haven't got as many as I was hoping yet, but hey. I, I'm still developing. So, I, what I'm hoping is currently all my Let's Plays are on my tablet. Of course, I'm doing one right now. Minecraft Pocket Edition. So what I'm hoping is to start getting some on my computer. I plan on doing a uh, Let's Play on Price. I was, and I had reviewed it, and I'll say so in the video that uh, uh, that uh, I've seen the game played. I even tried it out a tidbit. It's, a, it's supposed to be like an indie horror game, but when I watched it, I didn't really see it as a horror game. felt actually a little bit sadder than a horror game. 
to be honest. But it, it was still a really good game from what I saw. The plot was uh, very confusing up until the end. But to that, there's still like an open-ended uh, question that's there. Which you'll see when I do the series. I don't want to do too much spoiling it because that's what I feel like I'm currently doing. Anyway, uh, this is just a ramble until I get done with uh, clearing. Because you know. I have a, I'm gonna have a continuous tendency to ramble on about stuff like this. This is a big tree. No. Um. What else to talk about? Let's talk about what we're gonna do first. Um. After I'm done clearing these trees, I want to build a lovely beach house. Not exactly the same as uh the one on the server, but something similar. We'll clear out more of this when it's done with uh, more of the leaves decompose. Um, but yeah, build a lovely house here. Boop. Um, let's see, base home is over here. A lovely beach house. Let's build ourselves a lovely beach house. So, what do you think? Uh, spruce wood is a nice block. Then, so, this part's the worst. I'll do, I'll do a chiseled stone brick for a floor. Or not floor, foundation. Block that's gonna go on the outside. Um, how do you guys feel for blazed hair? Or glaze terracotta. Blaze terracotta. Floor. I don't know. That, that seemed a little busy. Uh, what do you think? Should we just stick to the sandstone floor? I think so. We'll do the smooth sandstone. Because that's a nice block. And then I'll do a glass plane. I'll do regular. Actually, no. I'll do light blue. Light blue is nice. And who wouldn't deny themselves a nice dark oak, oak door? Right? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if I said it, but comment down below. How's your day? And uh, let's get two subscribers. Minimum. I'd like to get up to five as maximum. More is better, but still. Um. Let's see... We'll deal with miscellaneous later. I don't even have the legit wall block. Um, spruce. I'll do birch in contrast with spruce. But that's still too light. Uh, how about acacia? I think acacia would look nice. What do you think? Comment down below. Oh, I need my grass block again. All over the place. Okay. Make sure to terraform a little bit more properly. And what do you guys think? Should we have a... Care farms are the best. We'll, we'll stick to care farms. I'm, I'm not going to ask. If you would like to see me grow something else, you can go ahead and comment down below. That would be lovely. Get this tree. I was only terraforming in one direction. Oh. oh that tree's fine. It's not going to be in the way. Uh, da 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 Doopa doopa, doopa doopa doopa. Um, so I'm excited. I have a few games picked out for when I get home uh, later. Uh, I plan on playing three different games uh, for my s for what I was legitimately hoping to be my starter Let's Play series, but it ended up being this. Um, I'm gonna play Price Trick or Treat. And one I can't remember the title of. They're all indie horror games, and they're all puzzle to my knowledge. And they're all also found on Steam. Go check it out. Uh, well, you can't check out the uh, one of them because you don't know what it is. Heh. <laughs> 
Mm. Should we do it square or L-shaped? Or roundhouse? Oh yeah, I like that idea better. Let's do a roundhouse. Remember, opinions always count. And please be wary of your hate comments. Nobody benefits from those. Camera just went dark. Uh, um, so outside of all this, let's see, how big do I want this? I want a pretty big home, so... Oh yeah, here's a nice uh, cheat for your thing. Three, six... Uh, seven, eight. When you go to do circles, a lot of people, I'm not sure how many people know how to do this, but, uh, when you go to do these, always start with your straight side. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these trees are in the way. This is how I figured out how to do nice, uh, size circle homes. I think it's getting dark. It is. Lovely. Okay, so we should have eight here. So then we get two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, ten, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, almost there. A lot of trees. This is going to be a really big home. Excited. Excitement everywhere. Timed that perfectly. Haha. -ha. Knew there was an extra tree here. Can't see a thing over these trees. Let's see, so three, four, five, six. Seven, sorry, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's done. I don't know about you, but that's a big home. It would fit lots of stuff in it. Let's see. A good height, a bit taller. I say that'd be good. That looks nice. Then we'll have Acacia. No, slow down. Let's not do pain, plain, pains. Is that what they're called? Yeah, pains. Let's do blocks. So then, for this, since that's our foundation. Now that I think about it, let me readjust myself here so my camera will light up. Um. We could do tall windows. There we go. Complementary colors. I like that. The acacia's helping the blue stand out. Loving it. can I rant on about? 
I'm not sure. That's the thing with uh, Let's Plays, by the way. Uh, they're really hard to keep uh, a good topic going. And it's like, I'll have more topics when I start getting more people to uh, see me. Because then you guys will uh, start saying stuff for me to say. For example, like, what do, we, what do we want done in this world? Sorry, I got uh, startled for a second. Like, yeah, what do you guys want to see done in this world? What can I do for you? As a YouTuber. For the most part, this is a very kid-friendly channel. I'll try to avoid anything odd until, well, let's face it, till I'm older. You know, 15. I'm 15, so. Um. Get all these in. Three sides. That looks awesome. Let's get in some sandstone. Let's see how this really looks. This looks more like a desert home or a savanna home, to be honest. But whatever. But you know, you find acacia in savannas, and you find sandstone in uh, deserts. But the colors really go nicely together. What can you expect from that? So I have no idea uh, what you guys might watch, but I, lately I've been uh, watching some game theory. In uh, Matt Pat and his uh, girlfriend and/or wife, I'm not I, I'm not quite sure, are pregnant. I, that's extremely awesome news and. Uh, Game Theorist Austin, from what I saw on Twitter, was, uh, even willing to babysit if they needed to get some sleep. Because, let's face it, Game Theorist, while having the, um, I think one of the most underappreciated, uh, points in YouTube, are one of the better ones. Because they spend a lot of time just doing the research to prove their theories. And, you know, they're just... Game theories. Or film theories. You could watch the other channel. Um, and I'd also like to say, I'm normally louder than I am. And I just ran out of stuff to talk about and more on the focus. And I'm doing way more of this than I originally had thought to do. But it's better to have it done than, uh, now than later. And it'll give me, you guys, more time to tell me if you like it or not. And then you get to s laugh at me if you don't like, if I get enough, uh, votes for a dislike. To put a big old disappointed smile, to make, make me very disappointed. I thought I saw a skeleton for a second. I'm not worried about it, I was gonna kick him out. This is a no skeletal zone. Well, skeleton. If you do not have some sort of flesh over you. How's that look? I think it looks really nice. However, there. That looks nice. Um. What do you guys think? This or this? Um, I think for this build, glowstone would work better. Put one right here. Put one right here. Put one right here. Put one right here. And right here. And right here. Uh, 
Oh, I, I knew that looked a little bit too short. There. And then put that in. So it should be three blocks. This needs to be. It's at six high. Yeah. I need two, three. Open concept. That's what we're going for. I still like how well the acacia is uh, defined, or how the acacia defines the uh, light blueness of this. Of my glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Darn it. It was seven blocks. All the well. Oh, I'm in creative, so I can move myself right here. Like a normal person would. Having to clear out a lot of trees. I swear, I love Mother Nature. <laughs> Currently, I'd be cruel to her. Because... Her trees are all over the place. And it's like, I'd like to know what's up with those misformed trees, like over there. Speaking of Mother Nature, I'm really excited with my, uh, with how my current, uh, SOC, SOE series, Secret of Earth, Secrets of Earth, is coming along. Because it is a book. It is my book book that I have written and I am very proud of what I hope to gain from YouTube is the ability to publish that so with more views I'll start being able to make money although it's it's not really about the money it not always as much as it's nice because I personally don't want to become a youtuber I want to be a veterinarian, but I want to keep YouTube as my hobby. You know, keep it, keep it real in that sense. There I am. Cause like this is a great pastime. Just being able, to, since you play games anyway, why not just start recording yourself and uh, play and put yourself on YouTube? It's not that hard. And after my astounding uh thing. It's uh, really nice to see that uh, people can get a lot of support from this. Because, like, if you do YouTube long enough and are able to be seen as who you are by the people that adore you, uh, you could get a nice fan base. And the nicer, and the bigger your fan base, the, with a lot of nice, well collected people, it's like you don't. You aren't phased as much by, like, hate comments. I haven't experienced any yet. But that's just, uh, an easy, easy point. The other day. The other day I was talking, uh, to a YouTuber. I say the other day, although it was yesterday. Yesterday or Friday. I can't quite remember as of the making of this video. That looks beautiful. And, uh... Actually, I might make this one story. Move over. No. And so I just not think that it'd be really nice to, uh, uh, excuse me, be able to see things like that. It, it's just the thought that people put into what they do is what makes their channels better. 
than most. I need my door. Yeah. Because, like, anybody could be a YouTuber. But it's, like, really the elite are those who show that they care. Anybody can fake it. Anybody can act it. But a real YouTuber, in my opinion, is one that will connect to their community. Say, Jacksepticeye. He is a great role model. He talks to his audience, like, directly. Even He even takes the time to go into his comment section and try to talk to everybody. And if you watch his videos, some of them, especially, like, his comment video, his reading your comment videos, he's proving that uh, he cares, that he takes the time to look at the comments, to respond to them. He even said so himself. If he was able to, he'd respond to every comment at once. Because think about it. Once you start reaching the thousands and then you do, let's say, a live stream, you can't keep up with those comments. I've seen that. That is impossible. There's no, there's not even the, the server connection out there to keep up with that speed. No joke. It would... If it was any faster, it'd start crashing the platform whenever somebody did a live stream. It's still amazing, though, to see... It make you. It would make anybody feel good when that happens, though. Because that shows you have a good fan base. Uh, and it makes you feel good when there are almost all good comments. Because let's face it, everybody's going to hate somebody and everybody's going to have hate comments. There's this one quote that I uh, saw. I can't remember it exactly, but I got the gist of it uh, memorized. In the name of uh, the God and like God and grass, there will always be someone to complain about that of God and the grass. It's a really good book. I remember it was in a book called uh, Dewey. It's about a cat. Go look it up. Go read a book. Maybe after you've been watched every YouTube series that you could think of. But yeah, it's just like that whole thought process is amazing. Because it's so true. Because really, in the name of God, earth, and grass, somebody will complain about God, earth, and grass. There will always be somebody. So you can't just ex blame hate comments. Be that way. It's not going to get you anywhere in life. It doesn't make... I mean, if it makes you feel good, write it down somewhere else. It's like, come on, it's not worth wasting time, because it, it's, it's just not. It doesn't help anybody. And if you don't like that person, just go away. You don't have to sit there and watch them. You don't have to acknowledge them. It's not what YouTube's for. It's for the entertainment of people like you and I. You like someone else? Go like someone else. That's that's just the point I'm making. Yeah, and in the, the server, this is kind of what I was going to go for, for the roof. It works so well on uh, circular roofs and uh, other roofs. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, hashtag ranting forever. I'm excited for this channel. I really am. There's so much to do. There really is. And I, I, I would like to also apologize for this continuous non-stop rant. I really have nothing to talk about about what I'm currently doing. It's just this currently. So if you'd like to hear something ranted about, uh, comment down below. I'll be happy to rant about whatever you guys want to hear. I just won't do politics. I really won't get into politics. Uh, time check. Time's almost up. Uh, let's do a little bit more. So if I hope you guys liked this video, I'm gonna end it uh, right here. 
So if you guys like this video, please comment down below if you like to see more of this content, although I'll probably continue doing this anyway. But leave a comment if you want to see something that I do, hear something to that I'll rant about, and uh, give me a big old thumbs up, smash that like button as Jack would say, and subscribe if you want to see more, ring the notification bell if you want, you don't have to, and I'll see you all in the next video!